How are we all doing? Well, today I'm at Bunny Wood, just on the Nottinghamshire-Leicestershire border, and I'm out, hopefully, photograph bluebells. Bunny Wood is partly managed by Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust and has some parking but it's limited, so be aware before setting off. It's an ancient coppiced woodland, referred to in the Doomsday Book. It's not an area I visit much, but I always make the effort to go at least once in the spring to see bluebells. Bluebells are a bulb that remains hidden for most of the year, but in the spring pushes out to produce one of the best spectacular British wildflowers there is. Late April is usually the most productive time to see them in full swing, but this will vary depending where you are in the country. It's late April, that's a very good time to see them and photograph them, and unusual for me, I've got my dogs with me today. Pepper, Rosie, come on girls. <laughs> don't normally have the dogs out when I do wildlife nature videos, but seeing as bluebells can't really be spooked, nice squelch there, um, they've joined me for today. It's quite nice to have the dogs with me, as it gives me something to film. I always feel a bit guilty because I spend so much time outdoors and I can't take the dogs with me for obvious reasons. They're little buggers and they're going to chase after everything. So it's quite nice to let them have a little run and see what we can see together. I did notice some deer tracks on the path, which I think are muntjac, and as with many woodlands, it's good to be aware of ticks, though the southern part of the county doesn't really suffer too badly from them. Bluebells certainly get most of the attention, but there are some other lovely woodland flowers out at this time of year, including the wood anemone. A slow-growing flower, they're often found in older woodlands. The lesser celandine is far more common and can carpet parts of the woodland. Its yellow flowers are a familiar sight in most woody areas. Hiking up a slippy and muddy track, I eventually found a more open patch with a good amount of bluebells. The smell really hits you, it's sort of a uh, almost sweet smell I guess. You can see Rosie <laughs> rondering in there. It's quite a, it's subtle but with that many bluebells it does hit you as soon as you find it. So look at all those behind me, absolutely fantastic. The woodland floor is caking them, absolutely caking them. Just a sea of purple, bluey. Tempting as it is, I didn't want to go too far into them to avoid stepping on the plants, so it's always best to keep to the edges where possible, though my dog Rosie didn't take that advice. Bluebells are an early nectar source for many emerging insects, like brimstone butterflies, bees and hoverflies. This is crucial to get them started and fit for the rest of the year. The main reason bluebells are around in early spring is because it's before the tree is going to full leaf, so the woodland floor is still getting plenty of light. There's lots to focus on, so I try to focus on clumps of bluebells or a single one or two. The overall colour is what grabs my attention. Once you get your eye in, you see life everywhere. I even spotted this little weevil. One of the threats to English bluebells is hybridisation from Spanish bluebells. The main way to tell the difference is on Spanish bluebells, the flowers are lighter blue and larger than those of the English bluebells. The Spanish ones are also unscented, unlike the really fragrant smell of the English bluebells. It's always a treat seeing a local nature hotspot and getting a good view of these stunning flowers. If you have a bluebell wood local to you, I highly recommend you go visit it. That was a good video, wasn't it? Why don't you watch this other video that you might like somewhere on the screen? 
If you're not already, do subscribe to my socials and check out the other stuff on the channel. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers.